welcome back to my channel. So um, yeah, it's always a vlog and I'm sorry if my glasses are dirty. I need to sort them out. They are a little bit on the, um, yeah, they need a clean. <laughs> anyway, it's beautiful outside. Got loads of stuff to show you today, so bear with and let's get into it. If you enjoy the video, please consider giving me a big thumbs up. It really helps me out. Subscribe if you haven't already. Why not? Dear me. And hit the bell for notifications. I'm real excited. I wanted to do some sort of dance, but I can't put any music on, so it's just weird. And I don't want to sing over the top of the video because that's even more weird. Although it probably would be quite amusing. <laughs> I'll let you decide that in the comments. Let's get into it, guys. Right, a couple of sales to show you. <laughs> um, right, so these polo shirts up here, there's like a stack of them. They went for £39 plus postage on an auction. They were out of a bundle we got and there was a lot of damage, you know, like holes in the back, a couple of stains, things like that. So that's pretty good. £39 plus postage. This guitar is a court guitar, an electric guitar. It's got no cables or anything with it. This has gone for £80 plus postage. So I am going to be parceling this up soon, which I'm dreading. I need to, in case you don't know about parceling guitars, I have been watching videos, so I know now. You need to loosen the strings. You need to put something between the strings and the fret. You need to also make sure all the knobs are secure. And if they're not, take them off, bag them up and stick them to the packaging. It needs to be bubble wrapped beyond belief and packed out in a box. So that is what I'm going to be doing in a bit. And that's the basics. Um, yeah, hoping this will get there in one piece. I've never done one before, so fingers crossed. And then I have got this Poly Pocket Compact, which has figures in it and bits and pieces. It was from the mystery box that Noel sent me. So thank you, Noel. Um, I paid £25 for the whole of the box and I've got £6 for this. So that's my first sale out of there. So yeah, I'm on the way to making profit. Happy, happy days. So yeah, I've got to um, pack this up now, which I'm not going to show you. I'll probably show you the end product to show you what I've done. But yeah, it needs a lot of packing, a lot of bubble wrap, like I said, card or foam or thick paper between the strings and the frets the strings need loosening and everything needs to be made sure it's secure and packed accordingly with a bit of space so it doesn't get too tight and break on the way yeah i think this is my most nervous packing situation to date i'll let you know we'll get on so while i'm watching this guy that's eating nothing but pot noodles for a week because yeah that's what i like to do while i'm packing um <laughs> this is how far i've got so it is about five six layers of bubble wrap deep it has card round it obviously it's all very loose and taped and then i have started to make this box because we didn't have a box big enough so this is the first part of the box and the guitar sticking out the top so i've started to loosely pack it so there's a bit of sponge um, for if it moves um, with paper. I put a load of packing paper at the bottom as well as I will do at the top and then I need to basically box around this bit with another box, tape it all up and then I will shrink wrap it obviously after filling the void. <sighs> this better get there in one piece peeps, that's all I can say but I will give you an update. If you don't hear anything it's got there okay. Um, if you do hear something It'll be story time. <laughs> or, oh, oops, <laughs> something happened. <laughs> Here we go. It's all done. 25 degrees outside. I'm absolutely boiling. I've managed to get it done. So I don't know who we're sending this with, but it's going and it's getting collected. <laughs> Neither of my trolleys can carry that. <laughs> I'm a glutton for punishment on a hot day. The steamer is out <laughs> and I'm going to get this steamed and then this is the last thing out of everything I've bought recently, which hasn't been a lot granted, that I need to get photographed to be listed. It's the only thing that got creased in the bag to be fair so I can't complain. 
So I'll show you how good this steamer is in a second. <laughs> that didn't work. <laughs> Let's do it again. Ta da! <laughs> and the magic of YouTube exists. No more creases. Well, ignore that bit there. I'm about to do that bit now. <laughs> Still got to do the back as well. Totally cheated. Some parcels to throw in here. A couple for Royal Mail. Oh, it's heavy. And um, trying to do it so you can't see the labels. And this one for every. So I'm bang those into Pamela. Pamela Hopper. <laughs> and I've got my lovely satchel, what I bought to put on the front, of, well, the back of the trolley because my other bag doesn't fit properly. And off we go. It's a gorgeous day today. I'm in the shed, of course. Um, bypassing these ones, just because. We only tend to go in there when we've got loads of money, because they're real expensive. Um, and the next one as well. I'm gonna go drop off this parcel at the um, at Royal Mail, and uh, then go and meet Rob at the Dove House. Yeah, it's a bit, a bit too much in there for the moment. And I've got something lined up for tomorrow, which I need some money for. Um, I don't know if I will get any footage tomorrow. Well, on the next video for when I'm out, because it's when we're going to my cousin's funeral. But I am going to some charity shops if we find any. But if I can get some footage, I will. Obviously not of the funeral, but of going to the shops. So we'll see. see what's what. It is lovely here today though. What's the weather like where you are at the moment? See, by the time this video comes out, we could have snow. <laughs> and I'm not saying because it'll take me till winter to get this out. I'm just saying we could. That's where the mine used to be. It's still empty. I go up here and go to the post office. Right. I'm at the Dove. So let's go and have a look in the window. See if there's anything cool. Let me know in the comments if I miss anything. Of course, I'll show you at the end what I buy. The speakers are still there, what Rob looked at the other day. It's a backpack. Lots of box. Pictures. <laughs> and some clothes in the other one. Let's have a look at the shoes. Like a Terzy. Terzy. <laughs> um, yeah, they look quite nice. It depends how much they are there. We'll have a look. Nice summery shoes. Okay. I am home and I have a few things to show you. These are really cool, but I'm going to go into them in a minute. So, got myself a pair of trousers. These are just for me. They are £3.25. Um, just a pair of, I don't even know what make they are, M&S linen white trousers. Now, white trousers probably aren't for me, but I've got them nevertheless. Um, this is a white label, the White Company blouse in a size 12, £3.75. This brand is pretty good. Um, ignore the bits and pieces that are on it. Not sure why they're on it. It's like a, a very, very light pink. Very nice. Um, should be able to get at least 15 for that. And I got this Hell Bunny dress hell bunny vixen sorry i keep showing you the wrong bit extra small um four pound fifty but just love this i pick anything up by these vintage brands and um, this has got like shells all over it it's so pretty very nice um tie straps at the top yeah it's lovely if that was my size i would keep it but it is not and I got myself a vest top for two pound. Um, yeah, that's it. Clothes wise, pretty boring. But then there's these. These are cool, right? I saw these the other day. They were in the Dove House charity shop with a big paperweight, and the paperweight they wanted eight pound for, which I thought was a little bit too much. 
So I didn't look at these properly and I went off to look at other things and basically forgot about them. They were still there today. So I thought, right, I'm gonna take a Google lens. And I was very, very happy with what I found. So these are blown glass um, with bubbles, all different colored little vases. As you can see, the pricing's a bit weird because we've got the big one at £3.50, which you would imagine is right, yeah, that's like black and grey. Then you've got a smaller one at £2.50, again, yeah, like a turquoisey blue. The green one, £2.50, again, it's the same as that one, it's quite small. But then we've got a bigger one here that's £2.50, which is clear. A larger one again, green, £3.50. And then this smaller one, £2.50, with like the amber, yellow, orange, whatever you want to call it. I just want to know why they priced them the way they did. Because why put that one at 2 50 if you're putting that one at 3 50 when they're the same size? I mean, yeah, that is a bit bigger. But yeah, they're, aren't they lovely? So, did a bit of research, Google Lensed, and from what I can gather, these are going for around £20 each. Which isn't bad at all. I'm happy with that. Um, I need to get all the stickers off, obviously, give them a bit of a wipe down and try and photograph them in a way where they look amazing. Um, yeah, I really love those. So yeah, I picked them all up. Had a little joke with the lady who was working behind the counter. I said, can I put these on here? And she said, yeah. And I said, I don't want them. I just wanted to move them. <laughs> she started laughing. She went, oh, you're a cheeky one, you. Anyway, we started laughing and she actually asked me how business was going, which I think is just beautiful <laughs> um yeah she was asking me how business was going she was saying how she admires me and rob rob was there with me but he came into the conversation later she admired us both for what we do and the hard work that is involved and she doesn't think she could do it herself and i was like yeah i hear that a lot i get it but i said at the end of the day um we've both worked for other people most of our lives so to work for yourself means that you can choose when in the day you work and for how long for. So if me and Rob wanted to have a couple of days off, we could just do more hours the rest of the week to make up for it. So, you know, it's appealing and that sort of thing. Yeah, it is hard work. It is tiring. You have to work when you're ill as well when you're self-employed, as I've demonstrated on this channel. Um you have to work through most things if you want to keep getting money in and what i mean by work is i don't mean you have to go out sourcing and stuff like that i mean by you need to make sure your customers are happy you need to return their messages and you need to make sure their parcels are out on time make sure that you chase up parcels if they don't get there and things like that so it is a consuming job when it comes to that but so worth it for all the pros you get so worth it but some people aren't cut out for it and I get that and I hear that so much I don't know how you do it I don't know how you do it I won't have the discipline I'd just sit at home all day or I'd be like oh, I'm not working today but I think to do this and to pull it off you need to have the goals in mind and be motivated self-motivated it's a massive thing You've got to be self-motivated. But anyway, um, yeah, what do you think to these guys? Would you have bought them? They are glass. I know they look a bit plasticky at the top, but they are not. They are glass, I promise you. So I wanted to take a minute to talk about the self-similar debate. So I've seen um, on Instagram and on here, a few people discussing it. Now, some people are like, oh, it definitely works. You should do it, blah, blah, blah. Other people are like, it doesn't work and I haven't had any success with it. I want to know what you all think in the comments. I've got some interesting theories. So I am neither for nor against doing it. The only reason I sell similar on my items is to make me feel like I've done something. So if I aren't selling anything, then I can feel like I've actually done something. If I don't sell anything and then I haven't sold similar on a few things every day, if I've got no, no stock to list, then I feel like it's my fault. So I feel like if I do that and put a fresh listing up every day, because that's what sell similar does, it gives you a whole new item number, refreshes your listing. 
obviously you need to do other things too sometimes you need to twerk tweak even not twerk <laughs> that's a whole other channel um you need to tweak your item title maybe your description maybe your price maybe a promoted listing um percentage anything like that but what do you guys think do you think it works do you think it doesn't work i want to know for me i am i'm on the fence with it like i said i do it because i feel like it's something that i should do but then a thought occurred to me how we all see everywhere people saying sell similar sell similar sell similar what if somebody started this who wanted people to do it because they knew that then it would make their sales go up what i mean by that is if i have something with 12 watches on eventually that will sell but if i sell similar on it all those watches go and they don't get an email to say that it's been relisted because it's not a relisted item they get an email to say that they've missed out on the item maybe if they've signed up for that or a notification to say it's sold again if they've signed up for that but then they may feel like number one uh, I'm not going to buy anything like that now. Number two, they might go search for someone else's. Number three, they could possibly search and find yours again. But I'm thinking, has somebody started this whole thing to say, sell similar on everything and then their things will sell instead? <laughs> it's not coming from a paranoid place, I promise. It's just looking at the flip side of it. If it works, then people are doing it and they are selling stuff. But if it doesn't work, then people are doing it and they're losing all their followers, all their watchers, sorry, on their items. It's an interesting one. Let's discuss it in the comments and let me know what you think. I don't know. The thing is, it's a bit like, what can you describe it as? It's, it's, a, bit, it's a bit of a myth, isn't it? It's a bit like you either believe it or you don't, but there's no proof. Discuss in the comments. So here is some footage from the charity shops in Skipton in West Yorkshire. It was a gorgeous day. So I've taken you on the journey with me to look inside the windows. There were some lovely, lovely charity shops here, but they were yikes when it came to pricing. Um, but I did manage to get some stuff, which I will show you in a moment. So stay tuned. Yeah, we, we went in a cancer research, a scope, a mind, I think, an ox farm. Um, yeah, so I've showed you what I could show you, really, from the day. Um, didn't want to record too much, obviously. But, yeah, it was a nice day. And it was nice to go somewhere different. But, like I say, the prices were expensive. There was a couple of charity shops that weren't open. So that was a bit disappointing we found two more and we we're like oh they're closed but yeah looking in the window the prices didn't look too bad on those ones but yeah there was a record player for 20 pound in there the window displays were really impressive but yeah there was an action man game and um, that had 10 pound on it and that's exactly what it was selling for on ebay and obviously they taped it up so you couldn't even see if all the pieces were in yeah here's the sue rider um yeah decent amount of shops just very expensive and here is the canal what i wanted to show you this was beautiful you can actually pay to go on a canal boat ride and you can have food here it was gorgeous there's like a cafe across the road where you can sit right next to the canal you can go on the canal boats it's just beautiful what a gorgeous day it was Right, so I've got these to show you. Um, this is what I picked up from Skipton when I was there with my brother. Um, so we went to, I think, about five or six charity shops. And they were all pretty expensive. So um, these are the only things I managed to get. But they're pretty decent. I have actually already got this jewellery box. It is up there. There it is. Look, you see it? Prizes for spotting it only joking um <laughs> yeah it's pretty much the same one i think this one is actually lighter in color though um this was one pound 75 it's quite a small one but these usually can get about 12 to 15 pounds so not bad one pound 75 
And then my brother Mike actually saw these. Um, so he spotted these for me. These were £1.50 each. We like the fact there was two of them. And I did a bit of um, a Google lens on them when we were there. And very similar ones have sold on Etsy for around £35 each. So I think I'm going to bundle these up because I think these are actually smaller than the one that sold. And probably go for about 40 But yeah, they're nice. They've got this stamping on the bottom. Um, I'm going to do a little bit more research on them. They are the same. It's just that the flower is at the back of that top. And on this one, it's at the front because it's turned around. But yeah, they're really nice. And I picked up another one of these. This is another bubble um, blown glass bud vase. Um, I paid £1.75 for this one. So yeah, I was actually quite chuffed when I saw it on the shelf. Um, and I said to my brother, I actually picked some of these up yesterday. So yeah, happy days. So that is what I got from Skipton. Like I say, it was very expensive. There was a lot of things that were over £10. And yeah, it wasn't worth my time. But Google lends in a lot of stuff. These are the treasures I found. So really happy. So I'm now sat in my garden. It's the next day. Um, Skipton was beautiful. I wanted to show you a bit of footage while we're there. Um, I need to do the voiceover on it, which I must not forget to do. Otherwise, you're just going to get a load of silent footage because me and my brother were chatting all the time. <laughs> but it was really nice. Um, the funeral was lovely. Um, it was lovely catching up with family. Unfortunately, we don't get to see a lot of our family, extended family, apart from at things like that. So it was um, bittersweet. But yeah, um, we like I said, we got there and we went for a walk. We went and had some lunch. My brother took me to lunch, which was lovely. And then, um, yeah, we had a walk around Skipton, went to all the charity shops and bought the things that I've showed you. But yeah, it was really expensive. But it was a lovely day out, a sad one. Like I said, bittersweet. It was a funny one. Um, and I don't mean funny, ha ha. I mean, yeah, just strange. It was a gorgeous day, boiling hot. Sun was out. The sun definitely came out for him. Um, and yeah, he had a lovely send off. So that's all we can say on that one. But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please consider giving me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. And um, hit the bell for notifications. And I'll see you on the next one. Take care, be kind, stay safe. Ta-ta.